Hello and welcome to another edition of Varsity Sports here on Educational Channel 15, Girls Varsity Soccer. This is a huge match today. Our Lady Highlanders dressed in the white uniforms, all white, versus Greater Boston League opponent Malden. There is a league championship on the line. This is a huge match for both teams. They're looking to share the Greater Boston League title. Medford is also in the mix. And this match will decide, in a big way, the Lady Highlanders' destiny. Malden dressed in all blue on the attack. Huge match for both teams looking for <laughs> victories. Malden almost scoring there. An impressive attack right away by Malden. There are four teams in the Greater Boston League. A, a league championship obviously gives you an automatic berth into the MIAA State Tournament. Our Lady Highlanders have two losses in the 14 league so far. That makes today vital. Their win-loss record is not good enough to qualify. They have to win today. A tie would eliminate them. They need the victory. Pretty much the same for Malden. Malden split with Medford, and the Highlanders haven't played Medford the second time yet, but we know that they lost to them the first time. At any rate, welcome to the broadcast. My name is Tim Cronin, Mr. Bill Trudell on the camera. Dillboy Stadium, the 19th of October. Winter is just about here, it's cold out there. Cold and windy. What does it take to qualify for a state tournament? It takes a lot of hard work. And right now, you have two teams here who want it badly. Again, the Lady Highlanders dressed in all white uniforms with the pink stockings. One impressive attack so far was forged by Malden, just barely scoring. We can see Mercy at the sweeper position. She'll work with Shannon. Looks like Shannon at right backer. Mercy will play the ball back to Angela. And they're trying to rotate the ball. Very dangerous in their own end. Malden is no slouch. They have talent. And right now they're pressuring. Angela will clear. Lisbeth Figueroa. Mercy. Mercy clearing the midfield. Samantha Fillmore. The attack begins for the Lady Highlanders. Right wing is open. She tried to get it to Miranda Rigo on that right wing. Just a huge, huge match. This is basically a tournament match. You win, you move on. You lose, your season's over. That's what it comes down to. Malden has a little bit more of a window because they already beat Medford. They actually could lose today and still be mathematically alive. However, it would be devastating for them. If Malden were to lose today, they would have to hope that Our Lady Highlanders beat Medford next week. So there are implications for everything. Unfortunately for the Lady Highlanders, they're kind of in the worst spot. They have to win today or they are finished for the season. And again, a tie would not help them. They would still be eliminated. Love to lean. Trying to work here. She feeds the ball to the right side. And on that right side, with this glare of the sun, it's tough to see. It looks like Miranda Rigo. The sun in the afternoon here at Dillboy Stadium is absolutely devastating from this broadcast booth. Lady Highlanders doing a nice job in the Malden end. Looks like a Malden possession now. A total of 80 minutes of play. That's 80 minutes of hard running 
You have to be in shape. Two 40-minute halves where five minutes in, we almost had a goal right away. Lady Highlanders now trying to attack. You can see number 10, Catherine Marquez, her first touch on the ball. This match should be a war. And we ready to play on here. Shannon Higgins. She plays that ball through, defended well by Malden. Malden will clear through. Nice pressure from the Lady Highlanders. Coach Tony telling them to move up to pressure them right at midfield, which is what they need to do. Lisbeth feeding the ball back to Shannon. All about moving that ball, rotating it. Several touches. Love to lean. She scores. 1 0. Lady Highlanders. Malden a little bit careless in their own end, and the speed of Loveteline takes advantage. 1-0. They have the lead now. A huge opportunity here for the Lady Highlanders. Up a goal early on. We will see if they can play through here. Malden now will begin that attack. Fed through Mercy back there. And I think Coach Tony is going to depend on Malden throughout. Excuse me, I think Coach Tony is going to depend on Mercy at that sweeper position to guard that goal. So the Lady Highlanders with a goal up 1 0. Love to lean. I'm told that's her 13th goal of the season. Jahan with the cross. Malden now on the attack. You can see the hustle from the Lady Highlanders. Every time a young lady from Malden touches the ball, there is a Lady Highlander sprinting at them. Nice move there by Samantha, taking the ball off. Malden trying to restart. Catherine now feeding the ball to Shannon. Lady Highlanders look good here. Looking quite solid. Ball played through. Love to lean again. On the break here. More pressure from the Lady Highlanders. And that ball finally deflected out of bounds. Looks like it will be a Lady Highlander possession. Malden almost scoring and the Lady Highlanders on their one quality attack able to score. So 1-0 right now. Shannon feeding Mercy. And a battle. It's such a war fighting for the ball. Every time someone touches it, the opponent is right on them. And this is exactly the way the girls need to play. They need to know that every time a young lady in a blue uniform touches the ball, someone's on that young lady immediately. Immediately. Mercy clearing out. It, this, this could be a corner kick. It looks like it is a corner kick for Malden. So an opportunity here for Malden. All hands on deck for the Lady Highlanders. Who's on that far post? Angela has to watch that far post behind her. And there goes Shannon. Incoming. Oh, loose ball. And looked like a miss header from the Malden attacker. Feel like if she got her head on the ball, she would have scored. 
Lady Highlanders escaping at that time. Ball played through. This is a live ball, but there's a lot on it. It looks like that'll skate out of bounds. And it is saved, recovered. Cross is there. Mercy defending. Angela will scoop. Popping that ball up in the air, that's a mistake in my opinion. You're just giving the ball back to the opponent when you do that. Coach Tony needs a word with Angela, he needs to have a word with Angela about that. And now the Lady Highlanders in their own end. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the ball out. 1-0 the score. Catherine restarting with Mercy. And that's Mercy's job, just to clear the ball away from the Lady Highlander goal. That'll be her job, I'm assuming, all afternoon. The only way that she'd be pulled from that position is if the Highlanders had a several goal lead. Angela will take. Shannon now, she'll look. Trying to get it to Love to lean. Ball cleared through. Shannon now. Right now, the Lady Highlanders playing at a high level. Nice pass to Samantha there. Malden able to defend. Nice hustle by Lisbeth, battling for the ball. Nice to see her playing with, with fire. And that ball will skid out of bounds. 1-0 Lady Highlanders, Educational Channel 15, on top of this, this playoff-like match. It's a tournament-like match. I'm surprised not a lot of people here yet. I'm sure the stands will fill as we go along. The weather has dropped today to winter temperatures. And we play on. Love to lean, trying to set things up and you have to look where you're passing the ball, Love to lean. So Malden will restart. It was an excellent training match on Saturday versus Lawrence for the Lady Highlanders. I think it's helped them so far in this match. Back and forth. Mercedes will clear. Lady Highlanders again happy to be up a goal. With the physicality. And it looks like we have a player down for the Lady Highlanders. And I'm not sure, is that number 11, Shannon Higgins? See if she can get stretched here, maybe a pulled muscle. She looks like she's in a little bit of pain. And it looks like she'll be helped off and boy, she's having trouble walking there. Hopefully she'll be able to recover. That's a huge loss if she can't come back.
And it looks like we're ready to play on Malden. See if Malden has possession here. Just a drop ball here. Play on. Mercy now. Jennifer Bermudez. She's in for Shannon. Ball played to the right side. Miranda. Malden possession. Ball played through. Again, the battle for the loose ball. Lady Highlander showing a lot of hustle. And that will skid out. So the Lady Highlanders will have possession again. Educational Channel 15, proud to bring you Varsity Sports, Greater Boston League, Varsity Girls Soccer, Malden versus our Lady Highlanders. League championship on the line and a share of it, to be more specific. Somerville has to win today. They're up a goal. First half, they seem to be out hustling Malden a little bit, seem to want it more thus far. They'll have to keep with that the whole 80 minutes. They're winning many of the loose balls, 50-50 balls. We play on. Malden knows they need at least a tie to help their cause. And the Lady Highlanders know that they need a win or they're finished. Malden essentially could afford a loss. It's, it would not be good, but they're very definitely looking for the win here. And it looks like an opportunity here for Malden on the trip up. Coach Tony not liking the call and Malden will set things up here. We'll see what they're gonna try to do. And that not struck well at all. As a matter of fact, what a wasted opportunity for Malden there. It's just. That is inexcusable, not a varsity play, popping that ball over the goal in this situation. But if you're a Lady Highlander fan, we'll take it. And we have a fan running onto the track, feeding the girls a ball. Thank you, sir, you're our hero of the day. We play on. Mercedes trying to clear. Playing with fire there a little bit. Samantha now trying to begin an attack. Ball will be fed to Jennifer Bermudez. Jennifer quite solid there. Looks like the Lady Highlanders will have possession.
Mercy trying to clear. Jennifer now on the throw in. And a late whistle there. So the Lady Highlanders will have possession. You have two coaches working the officials here, chirping at them. And it's amazing when a coach speaks to an official about something that just happened. You, you don't hear the whistle until the coach starts chirping at them. Mercy now looking to clear. She does. ball here won by the young lady from Malden trying to cross the Lady Highlanders are going to have to be vigilant here Mercedes now Jennifer nice move great work by Jen Bermudez Lady Highlanders with possession. Fatima now. You can see the Malden young ladies trying to step up their pace a little bit. They're trying to press the Lady Highlanders a little bit more. And this is uh, just a well-played match so far. Not a lot of mistakes. You've seen a few. And now Malden trying to begin their attack. Lady Highlanders are kind of stuck in their own end, defending. Mercy number seven, very tough to penetrate. And this will be a Malden possession. You have a high leg. And Malden now was in this situation about five minutes ago, and they really muffed it. We will see now if they kind of have something going here. The Lady Highlanders are going to have to be extremely vigilant. We'll see what they have set here, set play. A little bit too much passing there. That's the second attempt set piece that they have not executed well at all. Love to lean now, will begin that attack. And you cannot hold on to the ball for so long. We're down to about 17 and a half minutes to go until halftime. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. And now Malden on the attack. This is a live ball. There's a race for this ball right now. Malden looks like they're going to win at least for right now. The shot off the post again. And the Lady Highlanders are saved by the left post and now the right post. Well, at least from my angle, it's the left and right post. Angela's left and right. Wow. Malden has had their opportunities and they have not been able to score. The Lady Highlanders up a goal still. Such a surprise. The goal, the 
the goalpost, saving the Lady Highlanders two times. And again, you can see the hustle for the ball. Every time someone touches the ball, they'd better be ready here. Young lady tripped up here. And is this Samantha Fillmore? Let's see if I can get a look. stretch down to about 16 minutes to go until halftime So we're going to take our time here. And we're ready to resume action. Ball is put back in play. And Angela now looks like she'll just leave it for Mercy, who will clear. And again, you have to watch what you're doing with the ball. I, I don't like Mercy strike there at all. You're just basically giving the ball to the other team. You have to see where you're passing the ball. And possession for Malden here. Malden just hitting the post twice. Love to lean to tack paying off. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. Some of the Malden fans thought she was tripped up in the box. We play on. A little bit more incidental than anything else. <coughs> Love to lean, leaving the ball for her team. Fatima will take over. We play on. Malden clearing through. A lot of tension here. It's a huge match. Malden possession. Ball played through. Catherine now, like to see her touch the ball more. And again, every time someone touches the ball, there is an opposing player right on top of that person. The ball rolling on the field here. And Coach Tony's been talking the whole time since the opening whistle. Siamata, number eight into the match for Samantha. Young lady from Malden tripped up. So we'll have a break in the action here. And it looks like she'll be okay. Very nice that she got right back up. Quick substitution, we play on.
And it looks like Malden will have a possession. I'm not really sure what happened there. So we'll see what Malden does here if they strike the ball into the box. They have not been affected on any sort of set piece activity and they've had their opportunities. Love to lean now on the attack. And it looks like she'll get the call. So a set piece here for the Lady Highlanders. We'll see where the ball will be placed. Number 21 freshman Daisy Pena will look to strike this ball here. And kind of lightly struck. I, was, I think she was hoping one of her teammates was going to attack the net. So Malden will have a goal kick. Ball is cleared through. And Malden will have possession. Looked worse than it was. Malden now looking to restart. The ball pounded through. Angela there. Ball played in. We're looking at about 10 and a half minutes to go until halftime here. Mr. Bill Trudell on the camera, braving the elements. It's cold and windy out there. It's a winter day. Siamata with a touch. Ball played through. Jennifer. Catherine. And Malden does a nice job of attacking. They seem to, to become very nervous in front of an opponent's goal. They seem to not, not know how to score. Angela now will scoop. See Amada try to get a first touch there. If the Lady Highlanders can hold this lead, they'll be living to breathe another day as they try to qualify. It's only the first half. They have a whole second half to play after this one. Next goal is huge. Have to believe if the Lady Highlanders go up by two goals the way they're playing today that they will hold. Ball played through. See things getting very physical out there on the pitch. Trying to, to ward opponents off the ball. Daisy stepping up there. Nice play by Daisy. Malden 
Alda now on the attack. This is where Jahan's got to win the race. Ball is crossed, loose. And Angela will scoop that, she'll clear. Jennifer now. The most difficult thing for Malden, as I mentioned, they seem to have trouble finishing on the goal. I would say the last 12 to 15 minutes, Malden has outplayed the Lady Highlanders a little bit, but it's basically been even. Things getting physical, a real battle for the loose ball. Again, every time someone touches the ball, there's an opposing player right on top. Seven minutes to go approximately until halftime. Looks like the possession will be the Lady Highlanders from the far side. Here in the broadcast booth where the ball is right now, we can hardly see the action at all. Lisbeth trying to feed it to Jahan. Ball played through. And again, Malden on the attack here. And the Lady Highlanders a little bit lucky there. That was a nice transition. The ball headed a little bit too much out of bounds. And it looks like Fatima is going to take a break. We have Mira Downey in at left backer. Ball played through, Mercy is there. Lisbeth, Mira, Malden possession. Malden again, trying to set things up. Ball half struck. That was Miranda Rigo clearing through. Back and forth action. Huge delay here at the sideline. Finally, the pass. We have not seen Shannon Higgins come back into the match. Not sure what her situation is. And it looks like, again, we're kind of lost in the sun from up here, but it looks like the Lady Highlanders are going to have possession. Ball is cleared. Jennifer Bermudez now, she tries to clear. And again, winning the battle for the loose ball at midfield, very important. Lady Highlanders hustling back to help out their goalkeeper. That should skid away, so the Lady Highlanders will have possession. The sun really bad now here. And a, a, excuse me, a timeout has been called. And with the sun, we couldn't see anything, couldn't hear anything, and there will be discussions. 3.40 to go until halftime. And after the timeout, we will play on. For the folks at home, we apologize for any confusion about what's happening on the pitch. The sun is so bad that we can hardly see what's actually happening. 
There was a shot on goal. Angela made the save. So she'll clear. And we have a whistle here. Possession Lady Highlanders. Again, just a huge match today. The Lady Highlanders have to win it. A tie or a loss will mathematically end their season as far as tournament qualification hopes are concerned. They're up a goal, 1-0. And we're approaching the two minute mark here of the first half. It's always nice to go into the locker room with a lead. Another substitution, Fatima in for Mira. Now that the ball is in the offensive end, I think Tony wanted to throw Fatima in there. Love to lean now. Fatima, ball played through, defending Malden. Nice pressure here from the Lady Highlanders. And they will continue that pressure. A possession and a throw in. Ball is cleared. And that header is out of bounds. Malden now wants to go on the attack before halftime. They'd love to score. And they're going to let that ball go. Mercy is guarding. She gets caught there. Can't be too cocky back there. Nice move here. This is Catherine Marquez. She feeds the ball across. The Lady Highlanders trying their best to attack the goal here. Opportunity. And that will skid wide. Just wondering when we're going to hear the halftime whistle. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. And it looks like the Lady Highlanders awarded the corner kick. So an opportunity here before half. So an opportunity to go up by two goals. Daisy strikes, incoming, header wide. And I'm wondering if this will do it for the first half. And I'm just looking to see, there it is, the halftime whistle. 1-0 Lady Highlanders, 40 minutes to go. They have to hold if they want to revive their season. And second half action is upon us. We play on, and there was some, excuse me, some serious discussion on on both sides of this pitch here at halftime. And these teams look ready to go in the second half. Very intense discussion. Lady Highlanders dressed in all white. They are attacking the right side of your television screen now and dressed in the all blue. Malden, they're obviously attacking to the left. And now the keeper from Malden will clear. And again, I always feel like when a keeper does that in their own zone, it's such a mistake. They just kind of bloop the ball in the air and the other team can take advantage of that. Here's a live ball. Angelo will 
get on this quite easily. Ball is cleared. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. They have to hold this lead in order to stay alive in their battle for a share of the Greater Boston League Championship. And now a set piece for number 21, Daisy Pena. So an opportunity here for the Lady Highlanders to take the lead. This is huge. They are more than capable of scoring here. Incoming, live ball. Someone get on it and the official not having it, calling the offside. So Malden will clear. Ball played out by Malden, and again, the pressure being exhibited here by the Lady Highlanders. Miranda Rigo. This is Jennifer. And I would have liked to have seen her keep that ball in play. She kind of knocked off the Lady Highlander momentum there by letting that skid out of bounds. Love to lean, trying to create. And looks like Malden will have possession there after the physicality. A long second half to play. You have to like the way the Lady Highlanders have come out and they have pressured Malden right away. Ball put on the ground, and again, the Lady Highlanders looking to keep the ball inside of the Malden end. Now we have girls chasing soccer balls down the track. Catherine Marquez with the header. And again, nice pressure by the Lady Highlanders here. Clearing through there was Mercy. Mercy will not leave that sweeper position. And whose possession is it? Looks like it's a Malden possession. And with the sun, we didn't see what happened. Ball play to the right side. Again, the Lady Highlanders trying to control things right at midfield. They have the momentum, they have the pressure. Ball cleared through, and now Malden on the attack. Fatima guarding. And it looks like Malden will have possession. Again, very difficult to see what's happening out there in that left corner. And this is another, another instance of physicality it looks like the lady highlanders will have possession and again we really can't see from here the glare of the sun here at Dilboy stadium at this time of the afternoon devastating We're looking at about 5 p.m in the afternoon here Oh, 
Malden now trying to create an attack. Lady Highlanders again doing a beautiful job defensively. That was Lisbeth. You can see Malden trying to thread the needle. Loose ball. What a save by Angela. Oh, what a save. Oh, my goodness. Malden almost scoring again. How impressive is this? And what a save by Angela. Saving the day right there. That ball is played out of bounds. The possession will be, let's see what the officials are calling here. They need to take more control of this match. Let the girls know what's going on. Miranda now. Saved by Angela a moment ago, saving the season. Lady Highlanders need the win badly. And what a save. That was almost a sure goal. It was a beautiful attack by Malden. I have to give them credit for that. Nice passing. Nice strike on the ball. Possession here, Malden. And now Malden again on the attack. Nice defending there, I'm not sure who it was. Again, the glare of the sun, devastating. That shot deflected, and it looks like the goalkeeper has the ball, Angela, so she'll clear. Very difficult here to see. Ball played in, a little over a half an hour to go. Can the Lady Highlanders hold the lead and keep their season alive? They have what should be an easy win coming on Wednesday. They play Matin on here at Dillboy Stadium. But this is, this is the match that really counts from a win and loss standpoint. You have to have this one. It's a league match, and that's the only way that the Lady Highlanders can qualify is via the Greater Boston League. Again, nice pressure here by the Lady Highlanders. Malden finally clearing. They'll try their hands at an attack. Live ball here, Daisy in a foot race. Nice job defending. We're down to about a half an hour to go. And the Lady Highlanders defensively doing their job. Malden now trying to move the ball around. Trying to rotate, the ball played through. Standing up on my feet here in the broadcast booth to, just to try to get a glimpse at the action through this sun. Nice defending. And the clear, not sure who that is at left back or is that Fatima? Samantha Fillmore now. She'll play the ball. It will exceed the sideline, Malden possession.
Walden again trying to attack. That's some nice work there in the middle by Lisbeth Figueroa. She's playing a tough ball game today. Daisy now. Miranda trying to win this. Down to about 28 minutes to go in this match. 1-0 Lady Highlanders. We play on. Malden has done everything but score. They've had several opportunities. A couple of posts and one magnificent save by Angela. Substitutions. And we'll see what's happening here. We play on again. Can't, I can't see a thing with the sun right now. And it looks like the Lady Highlanders did a nice job defending. They'll clear through. Can see some pushing and shoving as we each each team is fighting for possession of the ball. Very physical game. Put pressure on this. That ball played through. That will exceed the line. Should be a Lady Highlander possession. Goal kick. And it looks like we're going to settle for the throw in. Jennifer now. Malden trying to pressure here. Lisbeth clearing. You can see Katya out there. Love to lean trying to set things up. And Malden will have possession. Love to lean, tried to leave the ball. Lead that ball to the right side, to the right wing. Mira Downey in the match on that right side. About 25 and a half minutes to go. Next goal, if there is one, is huge. Now love to lean on that attack. And the save made by the keeper of Malden. So a nice save on her part, each goalkeeper. Showing the fans some brilliance in net. Again, you saw that sort of pop kick from the goalkeeper, which is just a mistake. The Lady Highlander is able to take that and try to begin and attack themselves. Jen will clear through. Malden stepping up there. And a race for the ball here. Love to lean. She'll shoot, and that is just wide. Nice effort there by Love to Lean. Looked like the Malden defenders were a little bit exhausted at that point. Hey. 
Malden now trying to defend their end as picking up the pace are the Lady Highlanders on the attack. Mira now trying to set things up. They call Mol uh, excuse me, Malden the Golden Tornadoes. Didn't realize there was a color for a tornado like that. Love to lean now, trying to get a foot on the ball. So the official awarding the corner kick to the Lady Highlanders. So an opportunity here to maybe ice this match. Daisy Pena, number 21, will strike the ball into the Malden box. And if the Lady Highlanders can convert, I don't see them losing today. Incoming. The header looks like we'll do it again. We'll have a re repeat. So we'll set things up a second time here. Again, if they score here, I think they'll live to see another day. Ball incoming, live ball, and deflected wide. And we'll see, do we have a third? A third try. So again, and nope, it looks like the Lady Highlanders thought it was a corner, but a goal kick from Malden. And the, and the Lady Highlanders need to turn around and, and take a look here, because they're pressuring Malden now. They want to make it difficult for them to get the ball out of their own end. So the battle at midfield. Lady Highlander possession. Mercedes clearing. Lady Highlander possession. Mira now playing the ball back, soft touch there. Possession Malden. We have substitutions. Coach Tony saying something to the official. Lady Highlanders again striking the ball into the Malden end. Malden has not had an attack past midfield in a long time. Lady Highlanders trying to ice this. We're down to 19 and a half minutes, thereabout. If I'm the Malden coach, I almost want to call a timeout right now. Gather the girls together. They're down a goal. And the Lady Highlanders seem to have a little bit more momentum. His love to lean. Mira. This is Ella Sprick. Katya now, 
trying to create. Good job, Katya. Winning that ball, nice, nice feed almost. And again, the Lady Highlanders, all the pressure. Malden looking confused, maybe a little bit fatigued. And again, if I'm their coach, I'm calling a timeout here. I would round up the troops. Malden having trouble getting the ball out of their own end. They seem a little bit unnerved, I would say. And that will result in a Malden possession. And it looks like someone's getting a yellow card. And it looks like Love to lean. She'll have to leave the match. Not sure if she said something to the referee, but just a very undisciplined move there. And you have Coach Tony arguing with the referee, and that shouldn't be happening either. A ref, a coach can get a card too, you know. Tread very lightly here. If you're the Lady Highlanders, you have all the momentum and you really don't want to ruin what's happening here with a 1-0 lead by getting punished for something that it's just not worth the battle right now. Ball is cleared. Again, all the momentum from the Lady Highlanders. There's no reason for any sort of conflict with an official at this point. Your team is in control of the match. And again, nice play there by Ellis Sprick, slowing down the Malden attack. Catherine Marquez maybe held on just a little bit too long. Ball is played out. So it looks like a Malden possession again. Sun coming into play here. And Lady Highlander will have possession now. This would be Jennifer Bermudez, number six. Has played a very solid match defensively. The Lady Highlanders will continue with possession. And a timeout called. And I'm not sure who called the timeout, if it was Tony or the Malden coach. Again, we're just battling the sun here. And Coach Tony will have a, have a conversation. The Malden coach will have a conversation. And we play on. Lady Highlanders again trying to pressure Mauld and they want to hold that one goal lead with about 15 minutes left. Malden has had their chances. I think they've been outplayed a little bit more the second half. Lady Highlanders seem to want it more right now. And after some physicality, the Lady Highlanders will have a set piece here. Daisy will come up to the ball. This is a scoring opportunity. This could win the match for them with just under 15 minutes to go. Yeah. 
And away we go. This is a very nice opportunity here incoming. And that ball whisked away. So Malden will have a goal kick. This is again where the Lady Highlanders need to turn around and get the ball right back. Squeeze them in their own end. About 14 minutes left. Seems like the second half, there was a point where Malden kind of ran out of gas. Can the Lady Highlanders hold? Malden finally clearing their end. Possession now. Lady Highlanders, we play on. We cite that beautiful save earlier by Angela, saving the match. Getting down to 13 minutes to go. 1 0. You're looking at a possible, if this score holds, you're looking at a possible three way tie out of a four team Greater Boston League. That means three teams would share the Greater Boston League championship. And all three would advance because of that. That's the possibility. Each team splitting against each other in the two matches they play. And Malden won the first time around two to one. Right now, Lady Highlanders up two to one. There's an attack by Malden. And some beautiful defending by the Lady Highlanders there. Looked like Mercy got back, Fatima involved, some nice defensive work. And that was almost devastating for the Lady Highlanders. Live ball in the middle. And Angela will scoop that. We're looking at about 11.30 to go. Malden trying to pick up the pace. Ball played through and what a battle, just back and forth. The Lady Highlander is able to make, make good on one of their attacks, and that's the difference here, 1-0. But other than that, pretty much an evenly matched game. Two very good, well-coached teams. Some talent there on each side, some potential. Oh, what a save by Angela on the attack there, winning the ball. Wow, and it looks like a Malden possession here. We have a yellow card. I'm not sure if there's a penalty kick awarded. Mercy is charged with the yellow card. And Mercy will leave the field. And do we have, I'm not sure if we're gonna have a penalty kick here. And this would just be disastrous for the Lady Highlanders. And it looks like it's going to be an indirect kick or a drop ball. Where's the tip? Where's the tip? So standing over the over the ball here, looks like Love to lean. She's escorted away. There's a wall built by the Lady Highlanders. Very lucky there was not a PK awarded. A lot of drama here. Fans are getting loud. 
trying to battle the sun. And the officials are just trying to get order here. An amazing attack by Malden. Mercy carted off with a yellow. Oh my goodness, struck off the crossbar. Malden can't believe it. So it's a goal kick for the Lady Highlanders. Amazing drama here. My goodness, the ball struck almost perfectly. Just bounced off the crossbar and the Lady Highlanders will have possession. Clock is ticking, 8.40 to go. Oh my goodness. And we have a timeout called. I believe this is Tony now calling the timeout. And there will be more discussion here. What drama though. Mercy getting a yellow card, pulling on the Malden attacker shirt at, as she was trying to attack the Lady Highlander goal. Very lucky that Malden was not awarded a penalty kick. The officiating today is absolutely awful in my opinion. And the Lady Highlanders are kind of benefiting from it. There was an indirect kick awarded to Malden after a yellow card was was charged to the Malden player, excuse me, the Lady Highlander player, Mercy, in the box. It's just <laughs> confusing and confounding. But after all that, the Lady Highlanders, after this timeout, they'll have a goal kick. Timeout called. I think the referees are happy that Tony called a timeout because they've lost complete control of what's happening here. And I think they just need a break out there at midfield anyway. And we will continue play. Now, if I'm Malden here, I'm down a goal. Lady Highlanders have possession. The Malden players have come all the way back to their end across midfield, and they should be moving up. The team in blue should be moving up. The Lady Highlanders in white, I believe the ball needs to be passed to the side. And they need to keep the ball out of the middle. We'll see what happens here. Ball played through. Nice header by Catherine. Jennifer there. Nice defensive work by the Lady Highlanders. Daisy will clear. And now the ball played into the Malden end. Malden had before the timeout picked up some momentum, obviously. And there's a trip up, so Malden will have a set piece. You can hear some of the folks here, many of the parents voicing their concerns and their directions to their daughters here in this match. So Malden will have a set piece. Mercy's back into the match. Love to lean's back in the match. Malden has not been effective on set pieces in the offensive end in this match at all. They've had two golden opportunities and they completely muffed them both. And the officials now trying to position everyone. Ball played through. Angela will catch that. That, that ball was struck nicely. Angela now scanning the field. She'll clear. Nicely done on the clear. Lady Highlander possession. 6.30 to go. And again, the Lady Highlanders, they're looking to revive their season. Ball played through. Oh, yeah. 
Mira now trying to create. She'll clear through. Nice job. The Lady Highlanders just trying to get the ball out of their own end. Again, an evenly matched soccer game here. Jennifer on the ball. Nice job, Jen. Again, the Lady Highlanders on all these loose balls trying to get first touch. Lisbeth, she's, she's been solid today. Malden clearing through. And again, the attack on for the Golden Tornadoes. They'll let that skid out. We're looking at 5.20 to go. So that much closer are the Lady Highlanders to reviving their season. They would, this would be their fifth win. Of the season. So they'd be five, eight and one if they can hold. And then we would play next week versus Medford, a team they had a 2-0 lead against the first time. Angela there with, with the scoop. She's scanning and she'll clear. Well done, Angela. Malden again trying to begin an attack. Again, a little ping pong back and forth, a little tennis. Each team trying to move the ball ahead. The Lady Highlanders are just trying to keep the ball out of their own end. They have the one goal lead in the closing minutes here. Malden, they're trying to thread the needle. Coach Tony is hollering for a handball. We're down to about 3.30 to go. So the Lady Highlanders looking to survive. And the Malden keeper will scoop. And I think on her part, another mistake by blooping that ball, but Malden on the attack here. Go eat it. And the clear by Jennifer Bermudez. Great job, Jen. Malden again, looking to begin an attack, and the Lady Highlanders just content to clear at this point. Mercy clearing. Mercy again, sending that out. Ball played through. Left side, that will skid out of bounds. We're down to 2.30 to go. And again, the Lady Highlanders looking to survive. Keep their season going for another week. As far as their tournament qualification hopes are concerned. And physicality, Lady Highlander possession. That clock is ticking. We're gonna go under two minutes here. Lady Highlander is content to just let that clock tick. Ball played through. Right side, Mira, the cross, and the live ball here. Goalkeeper for Malden trying to feel that it's still fumbled in front of the goal. Oh my goodness, what drama. Just a matter of how much time is left, only the official knows. We're under two minutes, we know that. 
Malden trying to begin an attack. They know that the, the time is not on their side. Mira now. That ball is cleared through. Lisbeth is there, as well as Fatima. So it looks like they will split with Malden. Malden not having any attack whatsoever. The Lady Highlanders, beautiful job today. It looks like they're going to be victorious. Just wondering how much time is left, 1-0. And that will skid away out of bounds. So they'll get it to the goalkeeper real quick. And they're clamoring for the clock. So we go to next week, I think. They'll have Matten on on Wednesday night. From a win-loss standpoint, the match is meaningless, even though every soccer match is important. They'll play Medford a week from Wednesday, the 28th of October, and if the Lady Highlanders win that match, then they will qualify. But it looks like they have won today. Maybe one last attack from Malden. Ball played through, Mercy defends. And that is the match. The Lady Highlanders win 1-0. They will fight another day. So watch out. The Greater Boston League in soccer is up for grabs and three teams, Medford, Malden, and Somerville all battling. Malden now with two losses in the league. The Lady Highlanders, two losses in the league. And the last match that we'll have to worry about is a week from Wednesday. Medford has one loss. Somerville will play Medford. Malden will be rooting for Somerville that night. They want Somerville to win, and Somerville has to win that for a three-way tie in the Greater Boston League. Malden, they lost, it's disappointing for them. However, they're still very much alive with a Lady Highlander victory next week. So, on Wednesday night, we take on Matinon here at Dillboy Stadium, 6 p.m. start. Be there or be nowhere, but this battle for the GVL up for grabs and three teams could have a piece of it. Congratulations today, girls. The Lady Highlanders victorious. They have one more real important match to go next Wednesday, and we will be there to bring it to you. Bill Tridell, great job on the camera. My name is Tim Cronin. Lady Highlanders victorious. We will see you next time.